Okay. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our Toy Trends Briefing. I'm Adriana Powell. I'm with the Toy Association, and the entire Trends team is here today to really talk about some of the trends that we're seeing on the show floor. These are just some of the examples. I encourage you all to get out there, um, explore on your own. But if you have any questions on a specific trend or would like to dive deeper, our entire team's available for press interviews for the duration of the show. And you can request those in the press center. How do we pick these trends? Um, these are a result of probably about 16 to 18 months of us looking at products. So we meet with manufacturers, we go to different shows. So we, we're really on top of what's gonna be shown here at Toy Fair, really before the show even opens. But we've been scouting around to yesterday and this morning and meeting with companies to kind of put some finishing touches. So we're excited to show you what we have here today. And um, Isabel's gonna kick it off for us. All right, well, hello, and thank you, everyone, for coming. So our first trend is called Kid Powered. And essentially, it's uh, toys that put the power of play on in kids' hands. It helps them build confidence, creativity, critical thinking skills, leadership, and allows them to control and customize the way they play. And these toys range from um, plush to dolls to games to educational kids, coding kids. So there's a wider range out on the, fl on the floor that you can look at, and I'm just gonna show you some. So I'm gonna start with the VIP pets. They're from IMC Toys, and this is a new series of 12 different fashionable dogs that come with really, as you can see, cool hair. So it actually crosses over a little bit with our um, H2O play trend, but essentially you use water to unveil their beautiful hair, and then once you have it, you can do whatever you want to it to style it. So it really lets kids get creative, maybe aspire to become stylists themselves, really have fun. And again, there's 12 different ones so they can interchange them with their friends, play, role play, whatever their imagination desires. Then we have um, from Adventera Game, we have the Powerhouse Board Game. And this is one in a line of games that teach kids about sustainability. This one in particular is all about renovating a house that's old, that uh, has its leaks, it's not energy efficient. So kids get to make the decisions of how to do this while at the same time um, saving and not spending a lot of money. So it's a great game for critical thinking skills um, and also a great example of just putting the control into the kids' hands. Then from Think Digital, we have the Doodlematic. Now this is a really cool game. It, it is a video game maker. So, and you, as you'll see on your chairs, you have a sample a sheet and also a cookie, which you can turn into a video game. So this game, this game teaches kids how to build a video game. It takes them through every single step, creating a character, a goal, movable objects, enemies, also pitfalls potential pitfalls of their game, and then in the end, they get to draw it, snap a picture, upload it to the app, and they can play with their game. They can share it on social media, they can play it with friends, um, and just really get their creative juices flowing, and also learn about coding. Then we have the Shore Buddies. These guys are made um, out of re uh, recycled water bottles, 100% recycled water bottles. They're melted, crushed, and then turned into yarn to make the buddies. They're super soft. They each have a sound that pertains to their whatever animal they are. There's actually a few in the line. They come with a book um, that teaches kids about marine life, about what is um, you know, hurting the environment, about the endangered species, and what they can do to help. So again, it's giving kids that confidence, that leadership to go out there and do something um, about saving our oceans. Then we have new from Lego, the Lego Dots. This is brand new from Lego, and it's really all about creativity. These are different canvases uh, that come with these dots that come in all different shapes, colors. Some of them are already have designs on them. And you can either build, like this one is actually a jewelry holder. Uh, and then you have some bracelets that have different themes, but really it's all about making it whatever you want. The, you know, the kid can buy the, the themed package or, and they can buy extra dots and just really go, go at it. And it, you know, it really gives them a sense of making whatever it is they're doing their own. From hand to mind, we have the DIY Music Maker, and this is actually a steam 
kid, but at the same time is also a musical kid. So it, while kids are learning to build these like really cool instruments, they're also learning about the science of pitch, vibration, tone, etc. So aspiring musicians would, will really love this. There's also a story to it. So it's not just, oh, here's a kid, build it. No, you have these characters and they, are, they have this story going on so they can definitely have fun role playing once they've built their instrument or just make up their own story. And then last but not least, from Spin Master, we have the Ninja Bots. These are really cool little bots. They're interactive. They play with each other. They come with a whole array of weapons, different fighting styles. <laughs> and they will fight each other. So, but you get to train them. You get to choose a fighting style. You get to choose your weapons. You get to really get, to, they go at each other. <laughs> um, so kids can really, you know, get their, ni their inner ninja. They can use the bots. <laughs> All right, and they just gone crazy. So this will really um, allow kids to kind of channel their inner ninja, have a lots of fun, customize them to do whatever it is they want, and just enjoy the play with friends or on their own. So again, these are just a sample of the many kid power toys out on the floor. Go out, take a look, and find some more. So I'm back and I'm here to talk about a trend we're seeing this year and we're calling it H2O play. So I'm pouring some water in here to do some demonstration. So why water you may ask? We actually don't know. And, and many of you in the toy industry understand a lot of these trends come through and cycle. But we like this trend because um, you know, water is really easy to use. So when it's something that needs to be activated by water, um, you know, kids can do it on their own. There's not really much of a cleanup. Mom doesn't mind. So first starting off, we have the curly girls. And this is new. Woo. And I can just pull her hair. And you'll see it will curl automatically. Now, if I dip her hair in warm water, it will straighten automatically. So this is a great way the kids can play together and um, really, really easy, um, easy to clean up. See, we have all this curl here. And if I want to dip her in, her hair is magically going to get straight and I can curl it all over again. So this is just a really fun way kids can play with water. Another water themed toy, I'm sure many of you remember Bloom from last year from Skyrocket. This is the latest in the Bloom series and this is Bloom Pets. Um, this is a prototype I have here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to water and then there'll be this reveal where I will get some jewelry and underneath the flower pot, as most of you know, is part of the play pattern. I have my collectible pet. So this is part of the unboxing craze, but using water to activate and really have that magic aha moment. Um, but this trend doesn't just talk about things that activate with water. It's anything that's really water themed. So sharks, um, you know, different animals is all part of the trend. Now we have here the shark, shark, monsoon. And this is a McFarlane and this is a an RC shark, so I can have it move all around. Um, I think somebody turned him on and the battery must have gone because. But he will go, um, he lights up, and this is just really fun. Um, kids love sharks, they love animals from the sea and creatures, so um, this is an RC example. Now, kids love to make. Um, this is from Klutz, and this is the kids can actually make their own sparkly mermaid soap. So it's that activity, but then again, with the water theme, really easy to mix and make, and they're really, really cute. So you have all the different, um, you can make a turtle, we have a jellyfish here, and again, just that fun themes around the ocean and water and aquatic animals. Um, this is another one that I really, really love. These are the, Plush. So we have, this is from Ice Cream, and we have this beautiful jellyfish. Um, we have a seahorse, they have a shark, we have a ton of them back there. They're just really, really soft and cuddly, again, playing off that water and ocean theme. And finally, um, these are recyclable and make kits, and I really like these. They're from Play Steam. They're called I Love the Ocean. So each kit is going to allow kids to create different things. So right here, we're actually using recycled water bottles to make this hammerhead shark and you can make a manta ray. So that's really fun and kids will love it. And then this also makes a robotic fish and this robotic fish is actually made with recyclable styrofoam. So, and I can actually turn him on and he moves and you can actually put him in the water. We didn't have a tub big enough to demonstrate, but 
You'll notice too throughout a lot of these trends, sustainability is becoming a much bigger deal in the toy industry. Um, we didn't call it out as a specific trend, but you'll see examples from what Isabel was talking about to using things like this, whether the product, um, the packaging is changing. So that's definitely something to else to look for on the show floor. Um, and that really is the kind of H2O play trend. So I'm going to be talking about IRL. And this trend is really a reflection of the fact that kids have more options than ever when it comes to what they're watching, how they're watching, whether it's on streaming services, social media platforms. They really have endless options, and this is naturally having an influence on their tastes, um, their preferences, and how they like to play. So we're seeing more digital first brands in toys and games, and we're also seeing brand new play patterns emerge. So you know, um, the unboxing trend that we saw blew up a few years ago, had its roots on YouTube, and um, naturally that had an impact on toys and the collectibles category. So we're just kind of trying to see what's to come, like what's happening online and how is that gonna translate into toys. So I'll just walk you through a few examples. So first up we have Oh My GIF. This is from Moose Toys. So this is, um, this is a GIF collect moving collectible toy. So it moves like a GIF does. So this one, for example, is a little cactus and he pops open. Um, there are different teams to collect from. There's like hashtag wow, sup, fail, bestie. They're just really funny. They're just very, very cute. So um, these are called Screamos from Hogwild. So these are really funny because they're based on that um, viral video trend of animals screaming in hilarious ways. So these are prototypes. They're just a little, they're not going to look quite like this, but. So um, over here we have the cats versus pickles um, from sepia. So these are based on that video trend of cats freaking out when they're in the presence of a pickle or a cucumber. If you haven't seen these, they're very, they're hilarious. So there are hundreds of different cat beanie plush to collect. And then there are the ultra rare pickles. So, and they're all very funny. This one is kitty. So this is a pickle disguised as a cat to sneak up on their little kitty friends. Then we have the oddly satisfying line from Toysmith. So this line is based on, it's fueled by that trend on social media of like tactile, sensory, sort of like those just cool, here I'll, I'll actually just show you. So if you cut into this slime ball, you get that nice tactile experience and then inside you've got your slime that you can pull out and then you've got your little squishy collectible. This one is the, the cracking mystery egg. So you break it and it's got that nice satisfying feel when you're like opening it up and you've got your little surprises inside, little keychain collectibles, lots of fun. And then they also have the ooze dribbler. This is just sort of like mesmerizes you when you watch the ooze dribble through and then the flow go with the wacky tracks, fun little toy. So over here from Mattel, we have the Minecraft Earth Boost Minis. These are based on the Minecraft, the new Minecraft augmented reality game. So each mini comes in that signature 8-bit Minecraft style that fans love, and then they also will scan into the game and give your character an in-game boost. So it ties in the physical and the digital in one. Here we have the Sago mini subscription boxes from Spin Master. So these are based on the preschool app and for kids who love that app, they're gonna love getting this monthly subscription box in the mail. Everything is make and create. There's all different activities inside that kids build, they play with, there's great imaginary worlds. And what parents are gonna love too is that it's a zero waste product. So it's recyclable from the packaging to the toy itself. Then for kids who want to be the creators, they've got this KidIzoom um, creator cam from VTech. So this is what kids need if they want to make a vlog, if they want to shoot a how-to video, unboxing, so on. It comes with green screen, special effects, um, a lot of fun for kids who maybe want to potentially be the next YouTube star. So that's it for IRL. I'm going to move into the next trend, which is generations of play. So this trend is really about intergenerational play and the benefits of play for all ages. So whether you're six or you're 60, um, play has so many benefits. We've seen a lot of studies backing this up. Our Genius of Play initiative talks a lot about this. And um, these types of toys encompass everything from board games to active games to retro and nostalgic products as well. 
So first we have the TP Me game from Goliath. So this is really cute. What I love about this is that it's so simple. You just take it out of the box and play. This is the tree headband that one person wears, and then the other players have to launch the toilet paper rolls from the launchers and snag them on the branches, and they get points for it. So it's just a really simple but really fun game for all ages. Then we have um, Lantern Lands. This is from a company out in the launch pad. So we always like to highlight um, launch pad companies because they're first time exhibitors and you're gonna see something a little bit different out there. So Lantern Lands is a arts and crafts activity that you can do together as a family. It's sort of like a 3D puzzle that you build into a lantern. You decorate it, there's a little world inside and then you, you've got your little LED that you put underneath and it creates a lantern. So this is really cute because it can double as a room decor nightlight when you're done building. Then we have from Buzzy Seeds, this is another first time exhibitor at Toy Fair. This is um, from their retro line. Super cute because everything comes in this great retro packaging. Um, the games are really well priced. This billiards I think is to retail for $19.99 and it's, you've got everything. You've got your pool cues, you've got your chalk your balls, um, just really nice classic, classic game for the whole family. Another game from Hasbro is the Mall Madness. I couldn't set it up here, but here's the box. Um, so this is you know, the 80s, 90s game that was a big hit. Um, it's back for a new generation. Um, it's just a lot of great fun. It's, you've got your electronic unit, it tells you where to shop, the first player to check off, I think, six items from their shopping list and make it back to the parking lot wins. And then we have the survival kit from Little Medical School. So this is a great outdoor adventure kit for the whole family. The premise is that you've captured or you've, you've saved, I guess, the um, Bigfoot or Yeti in the wild, and then you've got all the tools you need to sort of nurse him back to health. You've got your compass, you've got a tick removal tool, and just a great outdoor toy for the family to enjoy together. And then lastly, we've got the hip hopscotch mat from A Suites, which I'm just gonna try and hold up. So this is designed to look like um, chalk on a driveway, but it's an indoor hopscotch mat, so on those rainy days, families can get up, get up and moving, play together. You've got your little bean bags, and um, it's just a great classic game, and it's really nicely designed. So that is it for me. I'm gonna pass it over to Jen. So the next trend I'm gonna be talking about is called Boom Smash Crash. And this one is all about getting kids up, active, moving, and using their bodies while also gaining a little bit more independence and also um, getting, getting a little bit of um, competitive with friends and, co friends and family. So first up, we've got the Warrior's Mark throwing blades. And what's great about this is that it takes classic indoor and outdoor activities and makes them more kid friendly. So think um, axe throwing games that you might go and play with with friends. Now it's more um, kid friendly. And what's also great is that it has um, a fold up mat so the, that the um, target board can be folded up and stuck in a storage bag for play on the go, which is also really nice. Then next up, this is the hashtag upside down challenge game from Van Gogh. And um, this is one where you compete in challenges and, and it actually flips your vision upside down with these really interesting goggles that you wear. And um, the challenges are actually super simple things like giving somebody a high five or um, having to connect dots on a board. But when your vision's flipped, it makes it really challenging and it also tests your hand-eye coordination a little bit as well. So it's really fun, great for family game nights. Then this one is innovating another classic game, bocce ball. This is the crazy bocce ball game, except for instead of using traditional um, bocce balls, we're using cubes to throw, which um, means that it can actually be used across multiple surfaces. So you can bring the game indoors, play it on the carpet, as well as on the beach. So it's really just a great way to continue to play a classic game, but in a new way. And that's from um, Fun Sparks. 
Speaking of bringing games indoors, this is the V1, Victory V1 Indoor Soccer Ball from Ollie Ball. And this one you can actually play with in the house. It's great, it's got a crunch core design. So it's designed so that it's not going to break any windows or walls. It's not gonna scratch up your walls or your floors, and it's not gonna cause any bruising either. So it's really great for getting kids active, maybe on days that you can't necessarily get them outside. And then next up, we've got the Globber um, Explorer trike. And this is actually a four-in-one tricycle that takes kids from ages 10 months all the way up to five years. And it transforms from a push-along um, trike that is assisted by parents all the way up to a two-wheel balance bike. So again, it's helping kids to gain their independence and um, also get them physically active as well. So the next trend I'm gonna talk about is a bit of an entertainment update. So as many of you might know, um, 2020 is not going to be a year that's big for um, kids entertainment movies, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna see a lot of licenses coming out that are based on where else kids are watching. And this kind of touches a little bit on the IRL trend. So first up, we've got the um, Stranger Things. Lucas's BMX bike here from Schwinn, and it's got a lot of the great features from the um, bike that he rode in the third season of the show, and um, it also has um, <clears throat> um, a little bit of a role-playing role element as well, and it's got some throwback features, wheels that you might have seen from the 1980s design. <clears throat> Then I think everybody is familiar with this guy right here. Um, Mandalorian is shaping up to be a, one of the hit, mo hit series from Disney Plus. And this one really brings the character to life. Fans and collectors have been clamoring for this product and we're finally starting to see it. This is the talking plush toy, um, Baby Yoda, AKA the child um, from Hasbro. And he comes with like a really cute little frog because as you might know, he loves his frogs in the show. And he's got some interactive features too. I don't know if you can hear him. He makes cooing sound effects. Really adorable. So you can start protecting your own little Baby Yoda. <laughs> um, another series from Netflix that's um, geared more towards preschoolers is the um, Go Go Corey Carson series. And this is one of the play sets from VTech that's coming out. It's the Go Go Corey Carson uh, DJ train tracks and roll train set. And it's interactive, it brings the characters to life for fans and collectors. And um, it's actually got some really great. Hey, rollers and interactive features so um, getting kids using their hand-eye coordination a little bit and um, what's also nice is that they each they each feature um, little um, movements from the show in the show there's a dance sequence that's called the do the Chrissy which is based on um, Corey Carson's little sister Chrissy and so you can reenact those moments from the show so it's really great for preschoolers uh, the show's over. <laughs> <laughs> Almost over, anyway. <laughs> then next up, this is the Barbie um, Princess Adventure series is coming out um, later this year. It's going to be a Netflix exclusive series. So we've got some Barbie dolls based on this um, series here, beautiful fashions, great for Barbie fans and collectors that are looking for this, and also just um, another way that we're seeing the translation of these brands into, instead of being released onto Blu-ray and DVD specifically, Specifically, we're seeing them move towards these streaming channels. Now, this is a collectible series that um, is really unique. It, it's, we're seeing it a merging of collector, a way for people to feature their um, collectibles, play and display, and it uses a hand swipe feature. I think it's being activated by the lights right now on its own. But um, essentially, you can build and create your entire wall of collectibles. This one features the trolls, um, but you can use it as room decor. So it's really great, um, beautiful light up display. But the characters also can be popped out and played with as well. So again, great for that play and display collector item for kids. 
Then, as I touched on a little bit with Barbie, now we're seeing more um, shows getting a second life when they hit these streaming channels. So we saw that with the first Frozen movie, when it, hit, when it came to um, streaming channels and was released on DVD and Blu-ray, it really got a second wind with fans. So now we're seeing that again, probably with Frozen 2. Over here, we have the um, Frozen 2 Adventure Storytime figures from um, Playmates Toys. And what's unique about them is they're actually the first um, characters that interact with each other and sing along and interact with you. Let's see if I can get these working. And if you face them towards each other, they use IR technology so that they will actually start talking to each other. Let's see if I And then you can also um, have each of them um, sing one of the famous songs from the show by raising their hands. So really great interactions for Frozen fans. And again, I think we're going to see a lot more um, rebirth of Frozen 2 once it hits and once it hits streaming on Disney Plus later this year. And that's the end for um, Entertainment Update. So thank you all for coming. As I mentioned before, this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. So feel free to um, walk the show floor, come find us. Um, and if you'd like to take any pictures or have any specific questions about the product, you can come. Um, we have a couple of minutes. Um, it's going to be taken away. But if you need to know what booth to find it in, um, you can also go to the press room and they'll have a list for you as well. Um, hope you all have a great toy fair. And thanks again for coming.